What is up guys, it is Nistro here, and today I just want to really talk about the disappointment behind Duelist Pack Dimensional Guardians. I understand that Duelist Packs haven't always been the most favorable thing to the Yu-Gi-Oh! community, especially since, you know, uh, they don't have, you know, usually too many good cards, and they're filled with mostly with reprints that nobody really asks for, and um, it's not always what we want out of a new set so um the last duelist pack i actually liked and you know this is this is gonna be a little biased coming from me i liked the the five b's duelist pack so it was uh the du you say one you say two and you say three simply because they came with reprints i liked the, the you say one uh duelist pack came with stardust dragon super rare i mean that was um when at the time to me that was a big deal uh Duelist Pack 2 came with Junk Archer. I always loved uh, Junk Archer, but I never got the chance to actually get one. Um, I used to play like a weird hybrid of like Warrior Synchro Scrub deck. <laughs> so um, I really wanted Junk Archer, um, but I, I never actually got it. But I, I always loved the Yusei Packs. And then Yusei Pack 3 came with Effect Veiler and uh, a few other cards, uh, Miracle Synchro Fusion. Um, at the time, it was kind of decent. And uh, Formula Synchron. So those those three. So the USA Duelist packs, in my opinion, were the pinnacle of what I wanted Duelist packs to be. They didn't have to be everything. Um, and since I was really into the anime at that time, I think uh, Duelist pack uh, USA was really it really resonated with me more, just because I, I felt like I had a connection to the cards. Duelist pack Crow. I didn't play Black Wings with. Uh, at the time, so um, I didn't really like it that much, but I did like the, the fact that it was all based around Black Wings and, you know. But, you know, that was 2011. Now, we don't see another Duelist Pack for four years. So, Duelist Pack Crow came out 2011, Duelist Pack Battle City came out 2015, June of 2015. So, four years after Duelist Pack Crow, Duelist Pack Battle City came out, and, you know, it was kind of just based on, you know, like, since Arc V was kind of based on, like, going back to the roots of Yu-Gi-Oh, they, they, they started this whole, like, um, focus on the first series as well, like, Red Eyes uh, was getting support, and, uh, other, and, like, slowly we saw, like, other de uh, decks from the first series get support, like Buster Blader, uh, Black Lesser Soldier, Dark Magician, um, and Blue Eyes uh, later, so... It kind of made sense. I didn't hate it. Um, it didn't come with too many good cards, but it did come with alternate artworks, so it definitely had um, its way there. But the next Duelist pack after that was Rivals of the Pharaoh. And um, I didn't really enjoy it. Um, I, I do feel like it came with uh, some decent cards. Um, the only, like, like Silent Swordsman, Silent Magician. Um, I definitely always wanted those. But... The thing is, it didn't come with enough good cards to warrant buying the set because everything else in the set was kind of just so bad that it just made the card, the, the, the good cards in the set just seem mediocre, you know. Even then, you know, I, I didn't mind it just because it was Yugi, but Duelist Pack Dimensional Guardians is getting a lot of hate. You know, one one year later, after Rivals of the Pharaoh, Duelist Pack Dimensional Guardians is getting a lot of hate because it has the same problem that uh, these duels packs have. They, it doesn't come with enough good cards or any good cards in general that anybody really asked for. I mean, um, we have like Cyber Angels and like Scarlight and like a few Fright Furs, like the Fright Fur Daredevil or something. But, you know, it's it's not really anything significant, you know, and, you know, I feel like since the anime isn't as like, um, I don't know if it's as popular as 5B's was, but um, to, to, to me, I, um, I didn't really watch Arc V um, pretty much at all. I only watched like the first like 10 to 15 episodes and I really got bored after that. <laughs> but um, yeah, I mean, it's, it's just cards from Arc V really. And they could have made this out a whole lot better. They could have made way better reprints, but instead they wasted it on Cyber Angels and like Scarlight re re reprints and like Resonator reprints. It's like stuff we didn't really need. And uh, 
sadly, uh, that is what makes the set not worth uh, looking at. But uh, luckily for us, we do have better sets on the way. Um, Battles of Legends uh, Light Revenge or Light's Revenge is coming um, a month after that um, in July. Since well, actually, is it, is it a month after or is it two months after? Uh, let me check. Okay, so Duelist Pack Dimensional Guardians comes out th uh, at this week, uh, the 26th, and uh, nobody's, nobody's really going to buy it. I mean, it does have a few common reprints. Um, it's just making worthless cards more worthless. I mean, Scarlight was like probably like $8 before this, and then now it's just going to go down to like 6 5 6 just because it got a common reprint. But don't worry. Battles Light, Battles of Legend, uh, Light's Revenge comes out early July. Um, I'm, I'm more focused on this set because this set comes with the new Gladiator Beasts, which I definitely want to pick up because they have some crazy effects. And um, it comes with the reprint Minerva as well, um, Synchro and Exceeds from um, multiple series, uh, including Arc V. So hopefully the cards that didn't get reprinted in... Um, Duels Pack Dimensional Guardians get reprinted in this set. And since this set is going to be like a hidden arsenal set where everything's all hollow and each pack uh, contains four ultras and a secret, um, hopefully. So every card in this set is going to look pretty because everything is going to be either ultra rare or secret rare. So um, it's definitely a double plus there. And um, we're getting the Time Lords as well. We're getting a lot of good stuff in this set. So we can. Um, we can deal with. Dimensional Guardians for now, we can endure it simply because Battles of Legend Light's Revenge is coming out. And uh, it, it's definitely going to overshadow the set. I mean, nobody's going to remember uh, this Duelist pack in like two weeks, trust me. <laughs> it's it's going to be forgotten, it's going to be dead, because nobody really cared about it. But hope, thankfully, Konami is making Battles of Legend Light, Light's Revenge, and hopefully they, re they reprint the cards that would have been good in the battle pack um, in this set. So, um, if you guys are hyped for this set, put, you know, hashtag is lit in the comments. I mean, I, I don't know why I do this hashtag thing. It's pretty much just to see who watches the videos, but you know, I know a lot of people don't like just uh, close out after like a minute or two. I mean, that, that's like my average watch time. My average watch time is only like two minutes. So most people click out of the video after like two minutes of watching. So most people don't make it to the end. But if you do, put hashtag it's lit in the comments. And if you are too shy or just don't feel like doing that, just leave a like or something. I don't know. I don't really care. Um, I hope you have a nice day. And I'll see you later. This was Nisho here. Peace.